All right, peeps. It's a beautiful morning. We got up quite early, like 545, 6 o'clock. And we're meeting a couple friends of mine, and we're going to the location where we recovered the track. It's very, I'm very excited. I am. Our stuff packed, important stuff, camera, camera gear, tripod, a whole pack full of flashlights. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do? Lock that up? God dang it. Flashlights, tripod, other tripod. My, uh, Expedition Bigfoot, the Sasquatch Museum. Very nice of them to send that to me. I'll be wearing that. Our camping gear, tents and cots. Got a spot for the pup pups. Are you guys excited to go camping? Go Bigfoot hunting? Who's excited? Oh yes, you are. Flashman says, I am, yes, yes. They all got baths last night. You guys all smell pretty now, don't you? You pretty boy. Do you smell good? I do, Dad. I smell like a bouquet of flowers. All right, we're off. This isn't Chick Hill, though. Chick no, no, that's behind us. This is called uh, Fletcher's Bluff. But I like it to call it Dead Man's Bluff because it sounds cooler. <laughs> so, see, there's a theory that some people have that the Sasquatches have things called Day Watchers. It sounds like something out of a Blade movie, right? Yeah. And that they would be in a spot like that and observe anybody coming in. Well, that would make sense, I suppose. Well, that would be about the only thing that makes sense about Bigfoot. <laughs> now, is this the area you were saying there were caves? Because I did hear about caves near the Chick Hill area. Nope. There probably are caves at the base of that. I haven't explored this this uh, bluff at all. Well, we're going to drive down here, then at some point we'll make a U-turn. I think we go that way, around, around the bluff. No, supposedly... Uh, Today, the base, it's a, it's a small mountain, more like a kind of steep hill that we're going to go to the base of. And I suspect there might be boulder caves there. Well. So I'll have to be pay close attention to the puppy. It just looks super spooky to me. It has a feel to it, you know, like a tangible. Pre like, a, like a magical castle will appear at the, at the end of kind, the Kind of, uh, like I, I can feel. It's like the hairs on the back of my neck go right up, just 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 entering this section right here. <laughs> oh, it definitely has a feel to it. And what's weird is this is the third time we've been back here, and I, and it's it's as strong now, if not stronger. Like normally, it, it gets less after I go to a place, you know, because yeah. if you're new to a place, it'll have more of that sense to it. But mm -hmm. it's, it's almost like it still has it. It just feels squatchy. Oh my god. I know. It feels squatchy. It does feel squatchy. It absolutely does. Now, is that a new stick right there? I don't know what you're talking about. That stick leaning, I don't know. leaning I don't up know. against that branch. It doesn't look really new. I don't remember it from being the last time I was here. Huh. I definitely do not remember that being there. Seems like the white birch is gone.
the lights on. Yeah, I know that. What good puppies doing? Are you a good puppy? Are you a good pup pup? He says, I want to go Sasquatch hunting, Dad. How about you, Mr. Blue? You good boy, too? You guys are all, you look so pretty and you smell nice because I bathed you. Yes, you good boy. How about you, Luna? You excited? You excited, Luna? Going Sasquatch hunting. That's right. What are doing? Blue says, I'm ready, Dad. I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm smelling stuff. I'm all set to smell things. And rolling stinky, nasty stuff that I might find. <laughs> We're hoping for, for something rotten and dead that we can roll in. To mask our scent so we can sneak up on the great beast. That's what we're hoping for. Oh, you know who that is. That's Mama. Oh, stop it. Flash, that's enough, Flash. So we found these close to camp. And then there's another one. Another one right here. It's broken. But... It looks like something was browsing on the edge of these, a smidgen. Not much for tracks at the base of this, this bush. But there are some moose tracks. There's quite a few moose tracks right here. This, this looks to me like be a bunch of moose. So I'm thinking, uh, you can see, you can see where it was nipped, nipped off where they were browsing. Not a lot, but eating a little bit of the leaves. So we think that's uh, I think that's moose. This this thing I'm not uh, so sure of. Hey. Definitely stuck up there. six or so at the time, six to seven. I don't think they were as bad up here. Maybe not. I just remember being, go for a walk in the woods and it literally sounded like it was raining. <laughs> <laughs> they are pretty impressive. Look at that. It kind of looks like a foggy mist is coming in. Yeah, they did a number on that. Oh, check, check this out. I'd say uh, somebody's been rubbing this, wouldn't you? You did say it was rutting season. It's getting to be that time of the year, yep. I'd say that's what's going on there. So we left some tobacco and some peanuts. We're at the pond. And our plan is to... Uh, Flash is still getting used to new... Our plan is to walk around the edge of this pond and we're looking for tracks, signs, and hoping to uh, maybe attract the attention of the resident Sasquatches. I'm sure they know we're here now with the dog barking. And we've left this for you guys. Let's do some treats. Spooky, you get the feeling that something invisible is just like standing right there, you know, watching you.
insulation. <laughs> We'd make good roof insulation, wouldn't it? Yeah. Picture plants, carnivorous plant. Adaptation for the acidic soil, pretty cool. Wow, those ones are really pretty, aren't they? They look like they got blood veins or something. They do, very much so. Because they're all red. All right, so we are pretty successful. We found what looks like a, f a flowage comes in, comes in here. God, it looks like a uh, airboat's been going up and down it, doesn't it? Almost, yeah. So it'd be a good spot to look for tracks, and it'll give us something to follow. I'm assuming that, that it cut, comes out of the base of that mountain. You watch it, it'll just go up in there like 50 feet and end. <laughs> yeah, it might. If it does, it'll probably end in the spring. <laughs> Puppies are finally behaving themselves. Oh my god, Flash just got right in the mud. <laughs> Great, Get, I tell you who's not sleeping in my sleeping bag tonight. <laughs> like who's gonna drag that thing into the water? They probably, uh, what they would do is just, they'd nip off all the limbs. But yeah, they'll tackle a big tree. Wow, look, they got they got a pretty good size one right next to it. You know, you don't want to get bit by something that can just bite through wood like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. Those are huge chips. I'd be hard pressed to do this with a wood chisel. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty neat. It's very exciting. We've got. Uh, a three-way cross. Let's check it out. Huh. Well, it doesn't look like it grew there, but maybe it did. Don't know. The Bigfooters, Bigfooters go nuts over stuff like this. Uh, if we try to estimate the order that they fell in, you gotta have the bottom one first. Right. So the bottom one went down, and that means that just that little, what, one inch at best branch up there uh -huh. is holding up where it took the blows of two of these right. falling down upon it. Now, the next one that would have had to fell would be the thickest one on the left here. And that's uh. being held up again by just a very small branch. <laughs> yeah. And well, the third one is going to add do you added weight. look at that? Do you think there's a that that grew there? I mean, is there evidence of a stump? I didn't really look at that closely, but it can't tell. I mean, it, it goes down in there, but I don't feel any roots. It, it just doesn't off. look like it's doesn't it doesn't look like it grew there to me. I don't feel any roots branching off down. Hmm. Maybe. So that. I don't know, maybe this is a root, or maybe it's just a stick. Which means it would have, if, if it didn't grow there, it had to have fallen from, I don't really see where it would have fallen from immediately, but. It's interesting. It looks awesome framed in the camera. <laughs> it is, it is cool. Oh, are you being a good girl, Luna? Luna's like, what in the hell are you guys doing? Look at her, she's so indignant with us. Like, I'm patiently waiting. All right, I want to see if this is where this, okay, so now, see, there's no, there's no stump here. No. Nope. No. That either broke off or? Yeah, so where did it break off from? Look at it. So I don't think that there's, I don't think there was a, the only one of these here that's got a stump is is the uh, is the first one right there. It's got a stump. First one does. Kathy thinks I'm, I'm a little nuts for. I, I used to like completely completely discredit anything that had to do with stick structures, and now here I am out like, oh well, maybe that's one. Maybe this twig hanging here is abnormal. Oh my god, I love this place. 
gorgeous. All this moss, another completely normal tree that uh, <laughs> being pinned down by a, uh, a branch that's got no root structure. Or does it have a root structure? Maybe this one does. Can I go down there? Well, maybe. Little puppies are being so good. You guys are so good. They're the best little Sasquatch hunting dogs. They really are. Oh, what a view. Wow. Awesome view of the pond. Bottom near some roots over there. No, I don't think that would make the noise. Because I, I thought, well, maybe they're making the noise and I'm just hearing the sound bounce off a rock. Or you something. know, that brook really looks odd, like something's bulldozed it or something. Maybe beavers. Do you remember our gifting rock up north? Yeah. Same thing happened, right? The moss was ripped off it. Yeah, well, this is this is the, the wind or, or something happened to knock this big Sasquatch, this tree. obviously. Well, it's not always that, but you know. <laughs> I don't know. Obviously. There is a probability number attached to it being Sasquatch. Yeah. There's a probability number that it's not. <laughs> Maybe, maybe they want us to leave the gifts on this rock. That's what. This is what's so weird is that I heard the clanging from this right area. Right here, and so they've taken the moss off the rock, so that's where they want us to leave the shit. Well, our our where we're camping is basically directly up there. Yeah, it is. I love that rock up there. This rock is the I want all these rocks in my yard. We wake up and the rocks will, the rocks will be in our yard. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. Blue, are you having fun, buddy? You look so handsome. You look like a superhero. He looks like Wonder Dog. Take flash along to find something to roll in. Carnage of the cedar. Carnage of the cedar trees. Beavers have been very busy. Very active little monsters. And look at the trench that they've dug getting in and out of here. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see some mushrooms over there, Newt, on the embankment, little brown ones. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right there. They have been busy. Bear poop eating berries there. Right, full of berries. You know? Look at this trail. It's awesome, isn't it? It's like something out of a fairy book. A little bit. Fairy book story. Wow, oh, that's a that's a big gum. I know. That's amazing. Gosh, you could just fall right on us, huh? <laughs> kind of like a work of art. It is. We are like little artists. Beaver art. Yeah. Twenty pound animal did that. I know amazing, yeah. isn't it? The world record for a beaver is 108 pounds out of Minnesota. They got that big? <laughs> 108. Jesus. Primitive beavers, prehistoric beavers, used to weigh 600 pounds. Can you imagine a 600 pound beaver? No, I mean, people get killed by, that guy got killed by a regular beaver. That, that guy over in Russia, Russia. somewhere. Yeah. 
Well, like Newton and I was talking about, I mean, you don't want to mess with something that just no. bites through wood no, like it's no, no. like it's nothing. Yeah, they're decimating the cedar trees in here for sure. Spooky! Yeah, this is all burnt. I think I got part of it right here. Huh. Not a fungus, huh? I don't know. Maybe. There's a type of fungus that looks a lot like it, burnt it wood, might, but. It might be. It very well might be. That but, would make more sense, I But I don't know. This looks awful uh, charcoal y to me. Looks like somebody used it for a. <laughs> looks, like, looks like there was a fire here. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Why is it He's been with us all day. Why is it burned on the inside and not on the outside? I don't know. It's like somebody lit fire in there. I don't have an answer. It's strange. <coughs> shh, no, shush. Every Bigfoot within 20 miles is going to know we're here. Thanks to you. It's all because of you. <coughs> Enough with the barking. Look at Luna. See how she's looking at something? stop now but she was peeking up this direction oh my gosh those are some awesome rocks over there Looks like a council of giants. Yes. So this is probably where the Sasquatches are hanging out inside these rocks. These be perfect rocks for them. Yeah, what yeah. does it resonate off like a rock? Well, we, we uh, have well, three rocks here. It won't, it won't resonate on a rock. Oh, okay. I need something that'll vibrate. Oh, okay. I need a hard surface that vibrates, ideally. Being such a good boy today, yes you are. A lot of X's and stuff. There's a perfect X right there. Perfect. Okay, so interesting phenomena. My yeah. phone, which this is seven four. I don't have cell service right now. Right. The GPS still works. Right. Now, what I have is I have mostly a blank screen, but I have half of the pond showing up on my screen. I also have a blue dot showing our location, which is just in the middle of a beige nothingness. <laughs> but it does show our location in relation to the pond. Huh. Why is it all beige? Uh, it just happens to be the color of the background when it hasn't loaded. Uh huh. But well, what this means is, worst comes to worst, we can at least know where in the beige nothingness uh, we are in relation. Oh, well, that's good. That's all. So, the area that we're in, the immediate area, has several uh, eyewitness accounts that I've been told. And within within 
10, 15 miles of this area, I'm, I'm aware of at least six, six more. Six more accounts of a main Sasquatch. I don't really know where we're going. Well, I mean, I know we're going around this pond, but I think we're going to head this way. What you looking at, Luna? What do you see out there, little girl? Luna's like, I see dead people. I see Sasquatches. Perfect spot for a Sasquatch. Boy, I tell you what, it could disappear some fast on you in here. Hey, hey, no. Flash. Flash. Enough. It's Mama Newt. There's a lot going on in the woods here. A lot of activity. I mean, just look at all the trees that are crisscrossed over right there. You guys can all stop panicking now. I know where we are. We thought we were going to die. <laughs> Hardened survivalist lost on half acre pond. It's a half acre. I don't know where I am. Remember, Newt, I told you those when you said that it'd be a hard place to get lost or something like that. I was like, yep. Maybe just a little. No, hey, 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 hey. Not necessary. Little beast. Because I'm going to growl. Bark a little. So we just had a brief moment of being lost, but uh, <laughs> I calmed down the rest of the crew and pointed out that we were on the same half acre pond that we've been on. You guys getting all hysterical thinking we were. <laughs> I was turned around. I was like looking down at this pond. I was like, that, that's a different pond. Yeah, it just took that little bit for me to get totally, yeah. completely turned around were, and were lost. You, were you ready to, to... I was ready to start... one of the dogs? <laughs> no, but I was going to start just running hysterically through the woods at a very fast pace. Hoping that would make me become less lost. It's always a good idea. It gets you home quicker. <laughs> that's, what people, that's what people do. Isn't that right? So there's a story of a fairly famous, like, you know, trapper, fur guy, frontiersman, whatever, and he was being chased by, by, he pissed off, big surprise, pissed off the local Indians for one reason or another, and they had caught him, and I think that he, uh, he made out, they asked him if he was a fast runner. And he mimed to them that, no, I'm a terrible runner, I'm really slow, I, I suck at running. When actually he was like a champion back home. So they thought they'd have some sport and they cut him loose thinking they were going to chase him down. Well, he took off and he outran him. He came to a pond and he dove in and he found the inlet to a beaver lodge like that and he hid out there. It's a good place to hide. I'd be friggin' creepy as hell, man. Well, you gotta hope it's empty. Exactly. Yeah, man, you wouldn't want to tussle with a beaver in, inside their own little... He probably didn't go in very far. Maybe he just stuck his head in the little tunnel of ways. There was a, uh, I think it's a true story, of another escape from uh, a Native American tribe. A, a guy got captured, and he was held for a number of months in winter came. So, of course, the river froze over. And uh, while he was being held, he whittled a number of pair of ice skates. <laughs> and uh, then he started to show 
the natives to try how to ice skate as for recreation. Well, of course, they're terrible because they've never done it before. Right. And he knew what he was doing. So once he gets them all on skates, he takes off down the river. <laughs> and of course, nobody can follow him because they've all got ice skates on. I have no idea how to use them. <laughs> It's a spooky woods. Massive. Glacial, glacial, glacial erratic. Man, that's an elf home if I ever saw one. Yeah. You just know there's an interdimensional portal going into that rock. Look at it, just looks like it has. All right, we're adventuring now, aren't we, Newt? Adventure, so we're walking on a beaver. If you can see Newt back there, we're walking on a beaver. Beaver dam. Inches from death, hypothermic water on one side. Steep drop on the other. I just need the scary music to go along with all the dangers that we're facing. Look at the pizza. This pizza. Not a piece of wood. Not <laughs> I was, pizza wood. I was kidding. That's really pretty. The ones I've debarked. Well, yeah, the one that's been in there. That would be like if I was artsy at all. Do something like that. Yeah. Well, see, that's the part that the beaver eats. So they've stripped all the candy and all the bark off that, and they've eaten the bark. Flashes. I'm just gonna give them. Look how clear the water is. Very clear. I'm guessing it has to be, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I know, but look, there's not, it's not much. Hey, there's the mountain. I know, we're too far. See it, Newt? I do, I do. We weren't too far from it. I wanted to go to that ledge, damn it. You know what, I think I that... No. Huh? No. Well, I didn't want to get lost. I still think we could get lost pretty easily up in there. I mean, I got, I got turned around on this pond. It doesn't take much. No. That's an interesting ledge right there. Perfect spot for a day watcher. That's kind of neat. That's like, that's like a, mini, a mini beaver lodge. Oh, we've lost Newt. Something's happened to Newt. Oh, there's Newt. Come on, Blue. Come on, buddy. Come on, Blue. <laughs> You're such a good boy. You're so good. Come on, little man. Who's a good boy? Good job. Wow, look how far down in it goes. That's a little tunnel, a little canal that the beavers have dug. That's cool. No, we haven't been for a long time, too, for some reason. I guess the dogs have killed him. So we must have been pretty close to the base. We were at the base of that mountain, I guess. Yeah, we probably were pretty close. We, uh, we kept on going and then go to the left a little bit or whatever. By yeah. that beaver tree, aren't they? Yep. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Oh, it's a Rushula. Rushula bedivips. All right, so this is kind of a neat mushroom. You see this guy? Tastes like uh, hot pepper. Well, if you have the recessive gene, you have there are people that can taste the bitterness and other people can't. No, I didn't realize that, but I believe it. Oh. I mean, right. I know there's like... You're so knowledgeable about stuff like that, I would have yeah. just assumed. Okay, well, anyways, there's a recess. There's people that... Can, there's a, a test that they'll give you this strip of, like, litmus paper, but it's real bitter. But only a certain portion of the population tastes it. Other people don't taste anything. It's the same thing with that mushroom right there. It has a peppery bitterness taste to it, but some people eat it, and, and they, it just tastes completely bland to them. Well, I know cilantro's like that. Like it my, is? My mother hates cilantro. People either like it or hate it. Oh. 
Megan loves cilantro. I love cilantro, but for some reason, if I put cilantro in anything, my mother's like, oh, did you put cilantro in this? <laughs> the thing is, with cilantro, I have the gene to not like it, but culturally, I like it. So I don't care that it tastes a little bit like soap because that's what it should tastes be. Tastes like soap? A little bit. That's what my mother says. I don't taste that. Yeah. All right, so we, we got brief GPS. Oh, wow. Showing us here. We're huh. safe. Yay. Now we know where we are. Okay, so this mushroom, here's the interesting thing about this mushroom. It's parasized. Per, 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 I can't say that. Parasitized. 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 Thank you. I'm not even going to try to say it. By a, uh, oh, I forget the term now, but another fungus, an imperfect fungus. And it morphs this thing into a mushroom called Hypomyces lactiflorum, or known as the lobster mushroom. And it's of uh, bilateral asymmetry, so it's kind of like a sponge. And it, it's all uh, red. And maybe we might find one, because there's this one right here, and this is the time of the year. So be on the lookout for something that looks kind of red. And is, uh, I don't think that's, I don't think that's it. That's the but it will look kind of a little bit, uh, faintly like a lobster. I don't know, it's a little brown mushroom. Is it brown? Or is that the name of it? Or? Okay, all little brown mushrooms you are looked into this lump. They call them LBMs, little brown mushrooms. Because they're it's notorious to be yellow. yellow. It's pretty. Yeah. It's just a calf of it. Yeah. Yep. All right, you see these mushrooms right here? These are edible. These are known as honey caps, and this is the perfect time to, to pick them right now. They're also known as a black rot. The foresters don't. Stand, the foresters don't like it because the mycelium from these things is black, which is one of the characteristics for keying it out. Can't really tell on this one. That's really pretty. Yeah, but that's what these are. They'll have a what's known as an annulus, or this this ring will, will be down, once they open up will be down there. But they've got this kind of I don't know. It's dry, but it's kind of like almost like a furry cap. They're extremely prolific in the fall. And you'll note here, the rodents have started eating it already, right? Squirrels will take these and lug them up into the top of trees and spear them wow. on the branches of the trees to eat later. And some people get uh, GI problems. They'll have, they'll have a stomach upset if they eat these. But most people can eat them no problem at all. They're wicked, and they're kind of sweet. They're, they're really tasty. They're really good. So for the second time today, on the same half acre pond, we've been lost. <laughs> How do you feel about going into the deep wood with, woods with us, Newt? <laughs> where are we? I don't know where we are. Are we on the same pond? Well, the thing is, I'm prepared to be lost, so I'm not all that worried about getting. That right there is the best advice you could give somebody. Be prepared to be lost, and then you won't freak out. Get that big cedar, and then that big cedar. Mr. Blue is adventuring and looking to look down the road. I wonder what he's up to. Well, hello, Luna. Hello, little pumpkin sauce. George, you're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. You had fun today, hiking. You did not. Here comes Mr. Blue. Here he comes.
Well, hello, Mr. Blue. How you doing, buddy? You good boy? You're the best boy. Yes, you are. You guys are also good. Except for you, Flash. Well, they really didn't make that camera very camouflage, did they? No, it's also pretty faded. It's kind of like a neon lavender or something. Uh, it's an old I'm gonna mess things up. Put some sticks on it or no? No, like for the birch bark to burn. She'll burn. Okay. Uh, stuff's got like rocket fuel in it. I can't believe how all this stuff. I've never seen anything like this one. At least not that it wasn't petroleum based. <laughs> I think there is something like rocket fuel in birch bark. It is very flammable. Your tent. Actually, could you do me a huge favor and replace the batteries in my super duper flashlight? Because the batteries in there are crap. Funny when I way back before I knew Bigfoot was real, I went. I don't know. You probably never heard of Dallas and Wayne, but they're really the famous Bigfoot hunters. So uh, me and this other guy went down to Ohio to visit with them, and uh, it was, it was, they were quite the characters. It was quite, a, quite an operation. We finally get up to the field where they're going to go, and so Wayne says that the Bigfoots hate hate a big fire, and so he proceeds to make this huge big bonfire by, you know nursing it with gasoline like he's suckling a baby or something. <laughs> he's got like five gallons of gasoline. He's over there. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Flames are flying everywhere. Why they, I bet they don't like it. <laughs> why, why would you, why would you do something they hate? Well, I don't think they hated it so much as it got their attention, but it was just funny as hell. And uh, we, I've got actually one of the recordings on the Predator call is, is his Bigfoot call, him doing the Bigfoot call in Ohio. I converted it over to a call because I know it worked because when he did his call, they answered from another ridge and then a few minutes later we're sitting in the woods, you know, we're sitting in a field, but this woods like there is right here, all of a here, snap! He goes, that's Bigfoot! Which is the same snap I heard and he was right, that's what they do. Yeah. Well, I guess there's, there's positive attention and negative attention and I prefer to go with positive attention, you know? I prefer it to be a welcome guest yes, rather than a party yeah. crasher. I think they really liked liked Wayne. He left him pink marshmallows, and he was just a character. Wayne's still alive, but uh, Dallas Dallas died. Dallas had a secret Indian chant. He would chant to bring up. He like, oh my mama, oh yeah, oh me mama mama, and he would do this thing, and he'd walk around with his camera, click 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 click. Click, 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 taking pictures. So this guy, this guy's a nutball, right? This guy's full of crap, but I mean, that night, man, there was like, sound like a bunch of baboons in the woods right next to that. Ooh, man, whooping, hollering. I was so freaking tired, I didn't even, I didn't even have sense enough to turn the, record, the camera on to record it. I was just laying in the tent, sleeping, going, oh my God, these things are real. Like, you know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't coyotes, it was something that was coming down, interacting, and they're hollering back to the things, and things are hollering back at it. If I can get something on camera, it would be very exciting, but I don't, that's not a primary goal of mine. Well, here's the thing, you can still still uh, take pictures, and you might get an orb or something like that. You might, you have, you might give some kind of... Yeah, Dallas would go along, and he would talk to the forest, and then he would take his camera, and he'd go, click! Like he would just ran yeah. his, and then he would go back and, and of course he'd get a lot of pellet pet you know, pattern for pet and recognition. But man, he would pull out some stuff that'd be like a shadowy figure did that would look just like a big ass gorilla or something. So I don't I don't know whether he was taking interdimensional creatures or what, what was going on, but oh, rich at us. But Wayne, with his call, those guys <laughs> brought him. Whoa! How's that for bright? It's good. 
That's flashlight right there. Super bright. Ooh. That's all I got. That's all just <laughs> well, they, they don't, if, if we think we hear a Sasquatch in the woods, we try to rebrand the point of the right flashlight. Oh, I don't, oh, yeah. trust me, the last thing I ever do in a hi, hi, dark like situation that? where there is any kind of weird thing or anything is turn off flashlight and I just have to charge. I, I, I will, I go, I crawl into the woods when it's, Nice and dark, and nobody can see me. That's really pretty smart. <clears throat> the last thing you ever do is turn on a flashlight. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't they, think didn't, they, they didn't like the lights on. They communicated that with, with uh, yeah. to Annie. Well, what do you do? Shine it in their eyes? Like well, that? people do. It's rude. <laughs> people will. No, they, apparently they don't like having the light shined in their eyes, I guess. Well, I don't. I can't imagine anyone else would either. There's a pretty famous case. Uh, right now is a good time to be watching the trees, too. There's a pretty famous case in, in New York where they had a rash of sightings. I think it was in Whitehall, New York. And there was a cop who's come forth and told his story. He showed up there and turned a light on. When he did, I think the thing like ro roared at him. Wow. It was big. It was in the field. Great big Sasquatch. I've had humans roar at me for turning a light on <laughs> in their eyes. Yeah. There's a light out of my eyes. Duck tail. Ah. Duck tail. Duck tail. No, 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 the other one. Yeah, that's the one we went to, Duck Hill. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the one that you ha we had to uh, uh, boat in, kayak in. Oh, no, you're talking about John. Okay. From, uh, Hill Pond, that Blood Pond. No, no, that wasn't Blood Pond. Molasses Pond. What the hell was that? Pond I don't called? know. But all we had to do is, is, is boat a short distance to the right. Yeah, had we paddled to the right, we would have paddled a couple hundred feet. Instead, we paddled to the left, and we circumnavigated the whole fucking pond. <laughs> and it was long. In like a blowing windstorm, Choppy. white caps. It started raining. We got, we got We're taking on water. Kayak. We're like, you know, is, are we gonna have to go ashore? Where the hell is this campsite at? It's cold. It's raining. We get almost all the way back to where we started. We're like, oh, it's right there. <laughs> There's the campsite right there. Why didn't we just go? And I wanted to go that way, but you talked me out of it. Remember? I know. Well, you, you, because you didn't know. I said, I don't really know. But see, I didn't Bert, know. You, 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 you doubted yourself, and I was like, oh, God. But she talked me out of it. Yeah. yeah. And we had the dogs, and we had the kayaks loaded with like 600 pounds of gear. We had way too much of gear. Yeah, and I had two dogs. And not good You control. did. You had two dogs. That's right. Yeah, well, we tried having all three dogs in the canoe until we found out that 90 pounds of dogs being totally not knowing what side they're all going to lunge to at the same time is a lot of dog. Yeah, it is. It's enough to like capsize the canoe. Well, that but, was... but he's, he's got confidence. I did not have the confidence. I was like, this is, I'm getting mad and mad and grumpy and, and it all worked out. I did. Huh? I did? No, I, did, I got mad, but you no, had I the confidence. I had the confidence. You, you had the confidence. I was not so like. Well, I didn't want to ponder the, the, the uh, only other option, which was capsizing and being wet. Or, or walking across. We were at the exact opposite and finding a road.
nice. That was beautiful. Thank you. It was really nice. It's mesmerizing. Did you say say anything to them in your head or no? No, oh, I just have friendly thoughts. No requests. <laughs> no nothing. Just openness. You can see in the dark. I have the eyes of a bat. The hearing of an owl. It's like we're ghost busting. Ghost busters. Sometimes Sasquatch hunting feels feels like ghost hunting. I, I don't. I, I don't think it probably is. I think you're right. All you're really doing is looking for the unknown. Would a Sasquatch hunter be unhappy if they saw a ghost? Or a ghost could be unhappy if they saw a Well, it's interesting you would say that because the Bigfooters and the alien people don't like to really uh, cohabituate. They don't like to... It's odd. It's really odd. Well, you would think, but... Why with this night shot on that campfire lights up the whole the whole area and it's pretty it's a pretty dark night out. Well, that'll just bring in the, in the big male, the dominant male Sasquatches. What will? Breaking those sticks like that. Well, they'll come in because I'm nice. Candy. <laughs> candy? Yeah, I got candy. That's right, candy. 